Now, during today's coverage of Super Bowl 35, CBS Sports will introduce a new technology called iVision. It provides panoramic coverage similar to the special effects in the hit movie The Matrix. Here at the Super Bowl, 30 robotic cameras have been mounted on the scoreboard and all along the upper deck at intervals of seven degrees. Each camera feeds into one of the 30 specially designed digital recording devices. The images are then computer calibrated to instantaneously show any spot on the playing field from all angles within the camera's 220 degree range. iVision is in its infancy and we're just beginning to find out the power of this new technology. Um, our engineers, Larry Barbasolis and Craig Farrell, started working on this a year and a half ago, and as we got into the project, we knew that we needed more help from the outside. Credit Professor Takeo Kanade of Carnegie Mellon with designing the software that blends 30 cameras into one dynamic panorama. This is a gigantic robotic system. You have to have perfect idea of the direction, position of the cameras, and the relationship of the amount of zoom, amount of focus, to the command that you give from the computer. And that is one of the hardest jobs. We think this is going to have a tremendous impact on the way sports gets broadcast going forward, in, in all sports. And we think that PVI will take the same kind of video modifying technologies that we use today and use them to enhance the performance of iVision. As important as the breakthrough three-dimensional replay you'll see in the Super Bowl is Core's ability to help log, store, search, and stream what we think are exciting moments in the Super Bowl and other sports as well. All right, here it is. This is an example during the warm-ups taken just a, a moment ago. The pass from Banks to Davis, and look at the way it can whip around. We're all looking forward to it. And by the way, it can be used in instant replay situations in the case of a challenge cut. We will talk from time to time tonight about eye vision. If you're wondering what it is, this is what it looks like. You got a pass rush, quarterback, he drops back. Look, he sees a big lane. Look at that big lane, so he steps up into it. What always makes it easy for a quarterback is to have a clean line of sight. Watch Trent Dilfer, nice look off, looks to his left. And nobody in front of him. Look at that nice lane. He can see the receiver down the field. And what a throw. On third and six. Gilfer has his man. Complete. Patrick Johnson. Enough for the first down. Eight yards on the play. Mike Barrow made the tackle. Well, again, you know, when you... We asked Trent Dill for a lot of questions. Third down throwing is by far the hardest thing for quarterback. Let's see what it looks like to Trent Dilfer. Defensive lineman in front of him. We go around. Steps up nice throwing lane. Finds the open spot. And picks out Patrick Johnson on the outside. Lewis flares out, takes the pass, cuts back inside across the 40 to about the 41 yard line. A pickup of four, and it'll be third and four. And let's check out the play on iVision. Well, let's check it out and see what it looks like for a running back to catch the pass. Swing it out to the right. Trent Dilfer, look at that. Looks like he's wide open, going to get a lot of yards. Looks up the field and watches the defenders. Close in around you. What's it look like for the quarterback? Tremendous pocket. And as Kerry Collins lets it go at the last second, here comes the defender. Daloiso to kick. It's going to be short from the 17 is Jermaine Lewis. And Lewis with room to run. Breaks to the outside, to the 45, the 50, down the sideline, and he's going to go! That is unbelievable. Number 84 goes 84 yards. Well, let's see how it looks to be a returner in the National Football League. A bunch of guys running right at you. Jermaine Lewis, he looks up the field. What does he see? 
Breaks it to the outside. And as he's a corner, he knows that Corey Harris, good job of just getting in the way, makes the block. It makes Emmanuel McDaniel turn around and has just enough to create the lane for the touchdown run. What a great job of walking the sideline. Jermaine Lewis did. Watch Kerry Collins. He looks down the field. What's he see? Nobody open. Moves out, and you can see Michael McCray come all the way around. Brian Billick looking to his offense to put a nail in the coffin right here from the three-yard line. Lewis and Gash in the backfield. Dilfer's pitch to Lewis. Left side, going for the end zone. Lost the football. No, the official says touchdown. Oh, the Giants lead. The Giants did get the challenge in before the kick. The Giants place. are challenging the call on the field of a touchdown. And even though Jamal Lewis lost the football, it was blown dead. The touchdown. Now well, that looks different that time. The Giants cannot get the football here. They would. Let's watch it here. See if we can see it, Greg. Possession, possession, possession. Oh. Looks to be a touchdown, touchdown because the nose all he has to get. Yes, all he has to do is break that plane. Well, Jerry Austin looking for a little excitement here. I think he's found some. It's right. on the line, yes. Right touchdown. there, that's a touchdown. That's a good, it looks like that, to me, it looks like he has possession you got to back it up just a little because it's coming out there. It looks like he has possession. Look at it now, real slow. And at that point, there. it's a touchdown. Then it comes yeah. out. Boy, we're, we're judging this by inches. Well, he's taking a good long look and has now made his determination. After reviewing the play, the call stands as made on the field. Touchdown. <laughs> 